So as the sun is starting to set here, and we have a little bit of darkness, but yeah, not full darkness, you can see how these tentacles worked. So again, we have this chicken wire mesh, <clears throat> and then we have paper mache over the top. We spray paint at the top with a plum, eggplant, and then a, a green, forest green on the outside. And then we came in and we had this sparkly stuff, which is a little hard to see uh, with this light, but we have sort of a glitter, glitter purple on top of that, a, black, uh, a glitter green on the back. Um, and then uh, for, the, for the bioluminescence, which you can see down here as we get a little bit lower, we have, we just use regular um, detergent, laundry, laundry detergent. So the phosphorus inside of the, uh, phosphorus in the um, detergent itself is what's uh, phosphorescing when exposed to this uh, black light. <clears throat> so it looked pretty good. Uh, one of the challenges we had is, is it does, it has been getting pretty windy here. We have a lot of Santa Ana's where we are in our part of Southern California. And so um, in our case, the Santa Ana's are coming from that away, blowing towards the ocean this way. And so what we get is a lot of our, and we have um, traffic cones as the base to give us structure. I was trying various things at first, but the traffic cones really seem to work best. So those guys are anchored down, but um, we have to continually anchor them down. It's a little hard to tell, but this guy is leaning. I stand over here, you see how much is leaning, which looks cool, but um, wasn't designed to be leaning quite that much. So we've had... The staking down and securing them has been a bit of a challenge. Um, uh, some of the other guys like like that dude is um, nice and straight up and not a problem. Um, but uh, overall I think the effects look quite good. And uh, the tentacles seem to look pretty good both in the daylight and in the, the evening time. And uh, I think next year we will work on more of them and also work on more arches. So one of the challenges we had with doing these these tentacles was it was fairly easy to do straight a little bit more challenging to make them curved I like to do some that are more you know hoop hoop like the like the creatures in the lawn coming out and that's gonna be um, a bit more of a challenge we also did experiment with some tubing which you can see if you're not it's not really lit very well but this is uh, duct work duct work for um, wash machines and stuff like that and so we spray painted the same color um, it has some strength but these are pretty expensive um, and much smaller and so it wasn't wasn't as interesting as doing these much larger and lighter and easier to articulate um, tentacles uh, although again with the exception that these guys are hard to make um, curvy but those are our that's our experiment with tentacles and bioluminescent or bioluminescing um, tentacles uh, for our Fourth of July, for our for our Halloween uh, pirate ship uh, throwdown.